So this, asks, this problem asks us to solve the following systems of equations using substitution. Um, up to this point, we have only worked on solving systems graphically. And remember, uh, that's the point of intersection. So uh, if we had a line like this, to solve the systems graphically, that would be um, the point of intersection right here. So whatever this would be, that would be the, uh, that would be the point of intersection. So now I'm going to get rid of that. And we are going to learn a new method. So uh, we're going to learn an algebraic method, one of two. This first one, it's called substitution. And the reason this is called substitution is because when I take a look at this uh, equation up here, you can see I have x is equal to 70 minus 9y. Both of these equations have two different letters in them, but I'm going to use this fact that I know x is equal to 70 minus 9y to help me get a single equation with one variable. So I'm going to take this equation over here, I'm going to rewrite it, 6, and then I'm going to leave a big old spot here for x right now and explain what I'm going to do with substitution here in a second. Um, so I, write, I rewrite the rest of the equation. And like I said right here, do you see we know that x is equal to 70 minus 9y? So like what we did when we substituted numbers into expressions, since we know x is equal to this, 70 minus 9y, I can plug that in right here, 70 minus 9y. And what that did for me is now you see I have an equation that did have x's and y's in it when it was over here, but now, um, now that just has one, one letter in it for us. So to solve this, we're going to distribute the 6 in here. And what we're going to get is 6 times 70 is um, 420. So we're going to get 420. Again, now I'm just solving this like a normal equation. 6 times negative 9 is negative 54y. Remember, the y comes along, so negative 54y. And then I bring this positive 7y down. That's still there equals 44. And now I'm going to combine like terms. I take a look over here on this left side, and you see I've got a negative 54y and a positive 7y. I can put those together, and that's going to give me a, that's going to give me a negative 47y. So I have 420, negative 54y plus 7y is a negative 47y, and then equals, I still have a 44 over here. Now I am going to get rid of my 420, so I subtract 420 from both sides. And these cancel out, and I get negative 47y is equal to ne uh, 44 minus 420 is negative 376. And now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 47. Divide this side by negative 47. It's going to make these cancel out. And what we're going to have here is we are going to get y is equal to negative 376 divided by negative 47 is a positive 8. So we figured out that y is equal to 8. Now that's just the first step in this problem. I still have to figure out the value of x because I want to find that solution, which remember is the intersection. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Let's bring this over here. And now, since I know y is equal to 8, I'm going to do substitution one more time. So we're going to take this equation right here, this second one that we just started with in our original, which is x is equal to 70 minus 9y. And then we're going to take this fact over here that we know y is equal to 8. We're going to do the same thing. It's going to be x is equal to 70 minus 9. And then I'm going to open parentheses in here. And just like before, since I know y is equal to 8, I put that 8 here. And now I'm going to figure out what x is. So we substituted once over here to get y by itself. And now we have to plug back in to figure out what 8 or x is. So negative 9 times 8 is a negative 72. So we're going to get x equals 70 minus 72. And that's going to give us 70 minus 72 is x is equal to negative 2. So how do we write this answer? The solution is we're going to write this as an ordered pair. So our x value was negative 2 and our y value is 8. So that would be our solution when we solve this using substitution.